thank you for joining us. Coming to you again from the Diplomat College Center, Greenville, South Carolina. Joseph Forbes, God Holy Prophet, Ambassador by the will of God. Coming to join us is God Pastor, Pastor Elvera from Manila, Philo, Philippines, Antipolo City. God Pastor, Ambassador, Pastor Elvera from Manila, Philippines, Antipolo City. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth, just like it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen and amen. Welcome to our online seminar brought to you by Global Diplomat College Center. Our vision transforming students into leaders and leaders into agents of change. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Global Diplomat College Center, and give us your comments and likes and click on that notification bell. Our session teaching today is about Jesus Never Preached Church. Uh, let us welcome... Prophet Forbes, God's Holy Prophet and Ambassador from Global Diplomat College Center, USA. Good day, Prophet Forbes. Thank you. Now, well, I have a question again. Uh, did Jesus preach the church? These question I will address in this session today. Thank you is a tremendous question. I will give you the answer as we address it today. Thank you for joining us around the world. We appreciate you and we love you. All of our describers and all of those nation who view us and all the cities in the United States of America who view Global Diplomat College Center and are students of the college. We thank you, we appreciate you in this online seminar. Our focus is Jesus Christ never preach church. Wow. I began. God's original plan is to extend, to establish the nation of heaven on earth through his family, his sons and his daughters, made in his own image and his likeness. God never intend for a religion. What is a religion? A religion is man search for God. A religion is man trying to see God. God create man out of the dust. And God breathed into man the bread of life. And man become a living being. He become alive. God put man in a garden. He didn't allow him to discover the garden. But he placed man in the garden is called the Garden of Eden. Eden is a spot. Eden is the present. Eden is an open door to heaven. Man was in God, came out of God, from heaven to earth. To colonize earth 
to bring her just like heaven. Wow. Wow. <laughs> That's amazing. God is love. He loves his sons and his daughter. In the beginning, he shared his dominion with man. The first thing he gave man is work, and he gave him dominion. God said, Genesis 1 26, let us make man, let us create man, how? In our image and after our likeness. Let them, three H E M, male, female, have dominion. Let them have what? Kingdom, leadership, dominion over all the earth. In other words, man was the first king. The word image means natural. The word natural means nature. The word nature means glory. So man was created in God's glory. Man is the image and glory of God. Wow. Man lost that glory. God placed him in the garden. God gave him a command. He gave him access. Every tree of the garden you shall eat. But of the tree of knowledge, good and evil, you shall not eat. In the day you eat of it, you shall die. Death. Death was dead. Adam and Eve act away death. Death become alive. God placed man in the garden. God take out of man a rib. And he create women. He bring out to Adam, and Adam said, It's bones of my bones, flesh of my flesh. It is supposed to be Adam's helper, one who helped him. She was deceived in transgression by an unemployed cherub. Man sinned, the Holy Spirit left him. Wow. Man break God's law. What we call sin today is the fruit of sin. We call adultery, fornication, lying, stealing, backbiting, sin. God call it rebellious. Rebellious means the penalty for it is it is treason. It's going against the law of an authority. A king. Adam break the kingdom of God law, the kingdom of heaven law. He was evicted from the garden. He lost the father. He lost his identity. He lost his the Holy Spirit. He lost. And he was evicted. Mankind sought a religion. Chaos was all over the earth. The earth was in chaos. Man sought a religion. A religion was born. Wow. What is a religion? A religion is man's search for God. God had a plan. Man did not fell from heaven. Man fell from dominion. God gave him dominion. He lost it. And he was caught in an unemployed, by unemployed sheriff in the kingdom of darkness. The kingdom of iniquity. A satanic evil kingdom to rebel against God. God had a plan to bring man back to God. The coming of Jesus to earth was to restore his family his sons and daughters, back to dominion. Now, Christianity say 
the coming of Jesus was that they get saved and they go to heaven. Jesus never teach that. What did he teach? He teach that man lost power, authority, dominion. He come to restore man back to begin to dominion. Am I making myself clear? To understand, Jesus Christ never preached church. The kingdom was before the church. Now, there being much controversy, there being much discussion, there being much talk, and folks do not know the difference between the kingdom and the church. What is the church? What is the kingdom? I will explain the difference between the church and the kingdom. Wow, wow. The word church was by name from a Greek name, Ecclesia, Roman Senate. It was the Greek Senate. Ecclesia was an ancient Greek, was an assembly of citizens that were to the ancient Greek city. What do it mean by church? The word church, Greek word is called ecclesia, ecclesia, which means a political assembly of citizens of ancient Greek. For example, heaven is a country. Heaven has a king. Every president Every prime minister have senate, have cabinet. So is the Lord Jesus. So is the King of Glory. He has cabinet. He has senate. Wow! I'm gonna make myself clear. The church is the senate of the King. Ancient Greek had ecclesia. Ecclesia war, a political assembly of citizens in ancient Greek. It was called Ecclesia of Antic Antis. Assembly made by citizens soon as they qualify for citizenship. A group of male. As soon as they qualify for citizenship, there will be that was happening in 594 BC. You check your history. <laughs> you check your history about ancient Greek. Their responsibility, war, decoration of war, military strategy, and their responsibility for election of officers. They were the Senate of ancient Greek. Who are the Greek? The Greek are philosophers, Aristotle, Plato, and Sophocles. The one who invented Democrato. Democrato means citizen. And the chief, they, the citizen elect a chief citizen is called polities. Polities is politics. They elect their chief citizen and they call him a president or prime minister. A president is one who been elected by the majority of citizens to hold that office. Wow. I'm making myself clear. Here is a scripture. Right this down. You are in college. Write this down. Explain to me, as the question was, about the kingdom. Explain to me about the kingdom. Number one, the kingdom is a government. Number two, the kingdom is eternal. Now, in the book of Daniel 2, 44. 
in the times of those kings, the God of heaven will set up a kingdom. Wow. <laughs> wow. It didn't say it'll set up a church. It'll set up a kingdom. Folks are tired of religion. Religion now, the Taliban take over that country in the Middle East. Religion that killed Jesus. Religion substitute itself for a kingdom. Religion is the dangerous entity on earth. Wow. 9-11 was caused by religion. Religion is dangerous. Man have two enemy. One is agency. No knowledge and another is agency. Wow. In the time of those kings, the God of heaven will set up a kingdom that will never be destroyed. This kingdom of God, kingdom of heaven, will never, ever be destroyed. There ain't nothing can destroy it. It will never, ever be destroyed. Nor will it be left to another people. It will crush all those kingdoms. America, China, Japan, France, Rome, England, Germany, Iraq, Iran, Russia, Indonesia, Philippines, the Bahamas, Texas and Caicos Islands, and Croix, and Kids and Vincent, Panama, all the 196 nations, it will crush those nations, those kingdoms, and bring them to an end. Wow. Wow. The kingdom will bring those kingdoms to an end. But it will in itself endure forever. Man was given a kingdom. This is the same kingdom man was given. Daniel saw this kingdom of heaven. So this expansion and extension of the kingdom of God on earth. Daniel seven eighteen. Go with me. But the sinks. The sinks do not mean any dead chocolate priest or any dead chocolate nun or any dead chocolate one who served Catholicism. The word sinks mean set apart. The word saints mean righteous. The word saints mean holy. The word saints mean special, peculiar people. God picked out, set aside for the master's use, which is a holy nation. Wow, wow, wow. The saints of the most high God, the king, the majesty, the royalty will receive, will what? Receive. The word receive means to take us your own, to welcome. It's like you receive many things. You receive email. You receive letters from loved ones. Now you will receive from the king of heaven a kingdom, not a religion. Not the Baptist, not Islam, not Seventh-day Adventists, not Catholicism, not Christianity, but you will receive a kingdom and will possess it. The word possess means to have as your own. You will receive the kingdom back again that the devil stole. The dominion, the power. What is more troubling for man? He don't have power over circumstances. When you go to the bank to get a loan 
or you go to the bank to get a house or a car. And one thing is really discouraging when the loan officer say you're not approved. Oh, that is so discouraging. That show that you have no power over circumcision. When your loved one's sick in a bed with cancer and COVID-19, the pandemic, when you stay helpless. Now, man was not helpless in the beginning. He had power, kingdom, dominion, power. Do you not know, Adam, name everything on the earth? Do you know Adam had power and authority? Do you know the same power Jesus had was in Adam in the beginning? Wow! He restored that power back to us. It's called dominion. Hallelujah. He will possess it forever. How long? How long will you possess the kingdom? Forever. Yes. Yes. Yes, 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 yes! Forever and ever you possess the kingdom, the kingdom of heaven now. Today we have, with mankind, they come up with the idea, names of organizations like the Southern Baptist Church, like Roman Catholic Catholicism Church, like Anglican Church, like Mormon Church, like Jehovah's Witness, like 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 any denomination and non-denomination, all these cherry pick names that they choose and get in little groups and call themselves a church. That is not the church Jesus died for. Wow! Explain to me! The church Jesus died for is a church with power! But you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost. The church Jesus died for is a church filled with the Holy Ghost and power and authority. Wow, wow. And these signs shall follow them that believed. In my name they shall rest on, on the sick. The dead will rise. The blind will see. The lean will walk. By the shadow, Peter, folks will heal. This is the power of the church for 1,800 years. The church was doing good things, but not the right thing. They buried the kingdom in the graveyard of religion. They buried the kingdom in the graveyard of religion. Now, what you want? You want dominion or you want ritual? You know what ritual is? Every Sunday, you go to a building, to a morgue, take down those cross on your building. A cross represent a morgue. When you go by a cemetery, you see a cross. When somebody die in an accident, you see a cross. They get the cross on the windows, on the door. Everything is a morgue. You go into a morgue to relive Jesus. Jesus is alive. He's not dead. He's risen from the dead. Wow, 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 wow. So they buried the kingdom in the graveyard of religion. They're preaching a message Jesus had finished with. Explain that to me, Ambassador. Wow. The law. Luke 16, 15. The law. The prophet. The five books of Moses. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy are the big five. It's called the Pentateuch and the Torah. It is the big five, five books of Moses. The law and the prophet was until John. Who was John? A prophet? John the Baptist, the forerunner of Jesus, was until John. But, 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 from that time... The kingdom of God have been preached. What have been preached? The kingdom of God. Now, all sorts of teaching in YouTube and Facebook, Instagram. They even have brothers wrestling, challenging other brothers. Who's right? They're fighting against 
Christianity, fighting against Christianity, try to fight it against murder in YouTube. To the world! That is not God's spirit! Wow, wow, wow. The church is the cabinet of the king. Ritual is you go to church every Sunday in the morgue and you sing a few songs. Like when we all get to heaven, when the roll is called, if you're on that video, sing a few songs and music, and you get a girl dance, and few people do the praise and worship and dance, and you play your organs and your music and your harp organ and everything, and the preacher get up and pray, and he sing. Then you had Sunday school, and they get up and preach. Now, what do he preach? He preach the cross. He preach the blood. He preach Calvary. What he preached, the redemptive work of Christ. That's a finished work. That work was that you have received the kingdom of God back in your life. Prove it to me. He had translated us from what? The kingdom of darkness. How? Through the cross, through the blood, through Calvary. From the kingdom of darkness and to a kingdom of his, their son whom we love. So the kingdom is everlasting forever and ever and ever. The kingdom is what? For everlasting. It is throughout all generations. It shall never, ever be destroyed. Am I making myself clear? Your kingdom, Jesus' kingdom, the kingdom of God, the home country. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. What the kingdom is? It's an everlasting kingdom. Your dominion endured throughout all generations. The Lord is trustworthy in all his promise. He's faithful in everything he does. Wow, 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 wow. He's faithful in everything he does. But the saints shall receive the kingdom. When the Son of Man cometh in his glory, who the Son of Man is? The Son of Man means Jesus Christ, his humanity. When he come with in his glory. He came to earth in his glory. And all the angels with him. He came to earth with his glory. When he was born, they were singing, all the angels were singing, glory to God in the heart, peace on earth, goodwill to man. He bring his glory to earth. An angel with him, he will sit on his glorious throne. All the nation will be gathered before him, and he will separate the people. One from another shepherd, like a shepherd separate his sheep from the goats. They have the goats on one side, and they have the sheep on one side. Now, question, who are you? <laughs> who are you? Goats are false prophet. Goats are homosexuality. Goats are lesbian. Goats are liars. Goats are drug users. Goats are pornography dealers. Goats are gamblers. Goats are battered women who battered women. Goats are evil men. Greed. Goats are rebellious sinners. Hypocrite. Pastors, hypocrite deacon, or goats. She shall separate.
the what? Sheep from the goat. Are you sheep? Are you goat? Now you should know. Nobody should know who you are. You should know right away. The minute I said that, you must know who you are. Either be sheep or goat. What's a sheep? A sheep is a righteous. A sheep is a saint. A sheep is a godly person. A sheep is who 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 have a relationship with Jesus. He says, separate them from the sheep from the goat. Then the king will say. Then the king will say. Come, you who are blessed by my father. Who the father? The government of heaven. You are blessed by the government. Take your inheritance. The kingdom prepare for you. How long? From the foundation of the world. God is faithful to his promise. God began with the kingdom, and he end with the kingdom. The kingdom was how long? From the foundation of the world. Folks don't love the kingdom. They rather go and in the Baptist church and sing, and they rather let sing a few songs, and after go home and watch a ball game, and take it easy and go back to work. They rather live a normal life of religion, but they don't want something that's real. Come and receive the kingdom. That were being prepared for you from the foundation of the world. This message here blew my mind. Jesus' first inaugurated message was this. From that time, Matthew 4, 17, from the time Jesus began to preach, God himself came down. What did he preach? Repent. Change your heart. Change your mind. Why? Because the government of heaven had came to it. The nation of heaven had came down. Repent and receive the nation. Welcome the nation. Welcome the kingdom back in your life. Welcome the power and the Holy Ghost back in your life. For the kingdom is not meat and drink, but righteousness, peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost in the kingdom and the kingdom and the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is the only one who could connect you back to the kingdom of God. Receive God's influence in your life. You're there to influence the world, for God so loved the world that He gave His only Son. He loved the world. Who He loved? Who the world are? Order of authority. Who the world are? Government system. Who the world are? Influence. Order of influence. Our banking, our sports, our restaurant. Our law, our judges, our courts, our politics, our religion. All the world are construction workers. All the world are restaurant worship workers, or automobile. All of these health, science, Olympic, media, anchors, TV, social media, the world. They are the world. They are the world. But God so loved the world, He gave His only Son that whosoever believes in Him. Now, Christians hide in their church and they don't want to mingle with the world. You need to go to a sports game. You need to go to a place where they have activity. Go to a restaurant. Go to a place and go where folk are and bring them to the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is the only thing that can satisfy.